When you look at some of the stuff under a microscope, it's just amazing. So my main table, which is this table, this is where all the magic happens. All of my tools are held up here on neodymium magnets. All my parts are in this cabinet over here. These fit into a Meiji. You can tell just by looking at them. This goes on to a Carl Zeiss. If it's a stereo zoom microscope, they're all pretty much made the same way. And the same parts wear out, the same gears wear out, the same glass needs to be recleaned and parts need to be replaced, lubricated, whatever. And back then we had little digital cameras before our phones all had cameras. And I would just take each piece apart, take a photograph, take another piece apart, take another photograph. So I knew how to put it back together and I was in the military so I learned how to read aviation schematics and once you know how to read a schematic I was able to just eventually go find online the schematics for whatever microscope it was that I was working on and then each part was labeled so it was just a matter of I don't know tinkering I guess and just being curious mainly it was just self-taught save myself a lot of money by not going to school <laughs> Some of this is kind of a uh, museum. So like these little six inch wafers, each die would be put inside a microchip. This is memory from about, I think that's from the 60s. This is called magnetic memory. And now all of that is this size, which is why we are able to have cell phones, the device you're not watching this on, anything else. Everything has just gotten so much smaller. 